This is the final SD310 prototype. First thing you'll notice is the inverted rubber surround. That saves you on front mounting depth. You can see it's actually behind the gasket. So you really only need a touch over an inch of space in front of the gasket to mount this woofer. So it really opens up a lot of mounting possibilities like under truck seats, behind truck seats, or any other relatively shallow depth application. Moving over to the back here, you can see we're using a 12-spoke basket on this one. The reason for that is the motor top plate actually extends up into the basket a little bit. You can kind of see it there through the vent because the total thickness of the top plate is a full one inch because this is an underhung subwoofer much like the SD210 and again the solid back plate so you don't need any venting room behind the back. Now to expand on the subject of underhung that means the coil is shorter than the top plate thus giving a very linear BL curve and uh, in short it means the woofer has a very low level of distortion. And this woofer has also been significantly more optimized for sealed boxes than the previous SD2 subwoofers. You'll get a much, much more low-end base output from this than an SD2. So let's cut to the chase. We're going to play it up to the maximum excursion levels. As you can see, it still has a large amount of excursion. Um, linear, you're looking at about 14 and a half millimeters one way. As far as maximum travel, you're looking at really close to two inches peak to peak maximum capacity before it bottoms out. Now this will have a hard bottom, much unlike the previous generation SD2, but that's not a problem in the recommended enclosure size and recommended power range of 500 watts RMS. These will be hitting the market sometime in January.